Hello everyone, it's me Sarah. Welcome to A Curious Cuttlefish Podcast, episode 14. Hello and good afternoon to all of my Yarny friends and fellow subscribers. I just wanted to pop on here for my podcast. I have been absent as of late as far as videos go. Um, it has been busy. I am trying to gather up um, extra videos so that I am not recording, editing, and uploading a video every single day. So that is what has been going on with me for all you guys. Um, welcome to new viewers. If you are new to me, you can find me on Instagram as a curious cuttlefish or email me at a curious cuttlefish at gmail.com. And um, yeah, let's just launch right into this podcast. So usually I show you guys my finished objects, my whips, and any um, new yarny things that I've acquired over the week. So let's just start off with those things. Um, finished objects. As you guys can see, right back here, I did finish my cuttlefish. This was a free pattern from Not Bad. I will have a link in the description box beneath. So I just finished making this guy this morning. I if we can sit up here and be my little, my little cuttlefish. So that is other than, okay, I, I'll say that this is complete. This was a Willow Square. I was recording to put this out last week and um, recording tutorials, editing, and uploading takes way longer than I ever anticipated. So I did a Willow Square. This tutorial will be coming out this week. I'm still editing this video. Um, and as you can see, <laughs> I ran out of yarn when I was recording this video. So there is a second color of another ball because I ran out. Embarrassing. But there will be a tutorial on how to crochet this and that will be coming out this week. I'm still editing that video. Um, so naturally this video will be edited and up before I finish editing this one to put it up for you guys. So that will be coming out this week. Um, and those are my two finished objects. My others are whips. So this one, here's my whip. This blanket was supposed to be done by the time I recorded this um, podcast, but I forgot how long it takes for me to sew squares together. So this is how many squares I have sewn together. I have 10 squares. I have 40 squares left, or I have 40 squares to sew together. This is 10. So I have 25% of this blanket done. Um, not counting, you see that there's ends on here? Yes, all the ends have to be woven in. Um, so I'm hoping to find time to finish this, maybe tomorrow, but it is, it is getting there, slowly but surely. So there is this blanket. Um, hopefully it will be done, my goal. My goal is for this to be done this week. It, my goal is for this to be done today, but um, I just have been very busy. So there is my other whip. I am working on this wrap. I don't know if you can kind of, you probably can't really see the stitch pattern, but I, um, will be doing a tutorial for this wrap. I'm realizing that tutorials take me about a week to make, record, edit, and all of that. So tutorials are just taking me a lot longer. I'm hoping that this is a learning curve and I'll be able to do tutorials more frequently for you guys, but um, they just take me a long time. So this is a pattern that I have. I am finishing up the last details on this so I can upload this pattern to my Etsy um, and then also work on the 
tutorial for this pattern for YouTube, for my channel. So this is a wrap. I am on my second ball and then it will be complete. This was using Yarn B's Cloud 9, which was one of their clearance yarns. Um, so that's what this is. This is my second time using this pattern. And those are my whips that I'm currently working on. I still am working on that um, sock weight hat that has not been completed. I have not picked up my knitting this week, which is very strange for me. Um, it just has not been a priority, I suppose. Um, let's see. I do have some acquisitions for you guys. I got a lovely package from Christy at Hooks and Horseshoes. She sent me this. And it's still in the plastic because I haven't taken it out yet. Um, so thank you, Christy. I got this. Here's an easy start. This is Stitch Studio by Nicole Cotton Colors. And look at how... I'll show you the side. Look at how beautiful this yarn is. It's like a very nice light white that goes into this deep burgundy color. I am so, so excited to use this yarn. And I am sure that there's a lot of yardage in here. See, this is a fine two weight and there is 1,093 yards in one cake. So this should be enough to make a shawl. So I'm very excited about using this yarn. I will be making a shawl out of it. So this was one of my acquisitions for this week. And um, I didn't get to see my sister this week, but my sister sent me a gift and she got me some yarn. And I was shocked because she doesn't usually get me yarn. Um, and these are all yarns that I do not have in my collection, so I'm very excited to try them. So here's the first one. This is Premier Serenity. It's a sock yarn. And look at these beautiful colors. So this is 230 yards. It's a 50 gram ball. And it is a super fine one weight. Machine wash and dry, which I think means it's, oh no, actually, it's 50% superwash merino wool, 25% rayon, and 25% nylon. So, it is quite soft. I'm wondering, I don't know if there's a pattern on here, I don't think there is, but I'm going to have to figure out what to make with this. I really love the colors. I might knit a hat, but I haven't been knitting much, so I'm going to have to get back on knitting. I'll do something with this. I still don't know how to knit socks. I need to learn that as well, too. Um, she also gave me a shawl in a cape, and this color is Unique Unicorn. It is a four-weight yarn. I would say it's more of a three or a two. It seems very fine to me. Um, and this cake has 481 yards, so that is enough to make a shawl. There's that colorway. Look at how pretty it is. So excited to call, to try out this shawl in a cake. Um, I have never tried a shawl in a ball or a shawl in a cake, surprisingly. So. Um, this will probably be a yarn review. It's 58% cotton, 39% acrylic, and 3% other fiber. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It's machine wash and dry, or lay flat to dry. So, excited to try out this yarn. And then she also gave me this Summer Nights. We, oh, I think that's Summer Nights. Um, this is a 200 gram ball, 875 yards, machine wash and dry, 82% acrylic, 18% polyester. It is a super fine one weight. And it has a nice little um, 
adds in a glitter to it. So you can see the color of this one. Look at that. I really, really like this colorway. And because there are so many meters to it, I can make a really nice shawl or something like that out of this. So I've been really wanting to try this one too, and I do not have any of it. So I'm very excited about this. Thank you so much, sis. Love it. Found this bundle. Yeah, and it's a lot softer than I thought it would be. It is a very fine weight yarn, as you can see there. So it'll take a while to make the project because it's so fine. But it'll be beautiful and very drapey. So those were my yarny acquisitions for this week. Um, and I believe that that's all I have for you guys. I'm just making a short little video. Wanted to say hi. I miss you guys all so much. Um, but I am trying to build up a repertoire of videos so that I am not cramming every day, um, spending most of my day making videos. I need to um, budget that time well. So thank you so much for watching. Be on the lookout for my Willow Square tutorial that will be coming out later this week. I received my box from Mary Maxim, so I will be doing an unboxing of that this week. And um, yes, there will be yarn dyeing tutorials as well. So for all of my giveaway winners, your yarn has been dyed. I am recording that process and I will be releasing those videos as I have time to edit them. You will be getting your package hopefully by the beginning of next week. Um, they're dyed. They need to be brought to room temperature and washed and all of that. So I will be sending your yarn out to you by the end of this week. Mm -hmm.